All right, Concrete Coatings business owners, do you have a Concrete Coatings marketing plan that's generating Concrete co Coating leads for your business or are you simply winging it? Stay tuned for more. Welcome to Your Concrete Success Podcast, a show created to inspire decorative concrete contractors to build a thriving decorative concrete business. I'm your host, Danny Barrera the founder of Concrete Marketing Group, a digital agency specialized for concrete contractors and also the author of the Digital Concrete Contractor Marketing Plan, how to turn your online marketing efforts into a lead generation machine. On each episode, I'll be sharing proven tips, strategies and processes from leading experts in the industry on how they found success in their concrete business. And welcome back for another episode of Your Concrete Success Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, excited to be here and today's topic is going to be about concrete coatings marketing. Do you have a plan to market your concrete coatings business and not just market but actually get results? Like not just wing it, not just read a book, not just watch a YouTube video and see if it works, but something that's actually bringing you the type of concrete coating projects that you want, whether that's commercial, residential, do you have anything in place? And anyways, before I go any farther, I wanna invite you to download our free gift, which is our ultimate internet marketing checklist for decorative concrete contractors. So if you're a concrete coatings business owner, this is gonna walk you through different facets of an entire online marketing plan that will help you generate the type of concrete coating leads that you you want for your business. So if you're interested and you want to audit your current marketing, your current advertising, check this out, download it, and it will give you clarity as to what you're doing right and as to what you might not be doing or what you're doing wrong and see how you can improve your plan. And all you have to do is go to ConcreteMarketingCrew.com and in there you're going to see a download marketing checklist button there where you can just go and enter your basic information and you can download the checklist that I just showed you right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into the conversation of the concrete coatings marketing. Like what, what is this whole thing about? And this is based on our concrete marketing plan here that you're seeing on the screen. And if you're listening to this uh, via iTunes, uh, via podcast, Apple podcast, via Spotify, Stitcher, or any of the podcast uh, mediums out there, go ahead and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you like the content that we've been sharing with you so far, give us your feedback, give us a review, leave a review. It also helps the algorithm know where to share this information so that other concrete contractors can also gain some benefit out of this conversation. So that being said, let's get, let's dive right into it. And talking about the concrete coatings marketing plan, there are a couple of things that you can do. There are a couple of things that you can do to generate leads, to generate targeted concrete coating project leads for your business. And I am going to be talking to you and addressing you from someone that's been doing uh, this for quite a while. I've been marketing uh, in the concrete uh, space for dedicated for about three years plus. Uh, and also I've been doing the online marketing gig for over 12 years now. So I can tell you a thing or two and I've seen a lot of different scenarios, but this simply works like this framework works for your business so if you want to figure out what your marketing plan should have I'm going to tell you there are some things that matter more than others uh, and if I was starting from scratch I will definitely follow this this specific plan for that specific reason so number one is you need to have a website Okay, that is not if you should or that is not non-negotiable like that. You got to have a website. Now, a website is usually treated as an online brochure by most concrete coding companies. And wh what do I mean by that? Well, they have great galleries. They have a, a lot of great pictures of their work, but the functionality uh, and the ability to generate leads out of those websites is very low and it's very poor. And for that matter, I mean, you look at all the websites that, that are provided to you by Wix or Weebly or any of those do-it-yourself type of websites, you know, you can definitely get a nice mobile responsive site that looks great. But as far as generating leads, I can tell you the one thing that we've seen time and time and time again is that those websites are not built to convert. So what you need to have in place is a website that is built to generate leads right out of the gates. This way, if you are introducing yourself to other architects, to builders, general contractors, and you are handing out business cards and you are putting yourself out there, guess what? When someone clicks on your website and if they're interested in what you've got to offer, you are going to generate a lead from that specific prospect. Now, 
the bottom line is just to run some numbers for you. If uh, say you're getting 100 visitors to a website and your website is converting at 1%, that means that you're only going to get one lead for every 100 visitors. And what if you had a 10% conversion, or let's dial it back, what if you had a 7% conversion on your website from all the traffic and uh, you got 100 clicks? Well, guess what? Same 100 clicks would get you seven leads. So uh, your efforts, your advertising dollars, anything that you're doing to promote your business would go a lot farther by simply having a high converting website. And uh, that being said, that would be a fundamental step as, as a business. It gives you good representation as you're, you're selling and also ser serves you as a sales tool for your business. Meaning, if you have specific types of projects that you work or, or applications, as you say, you could always take someone on the phone and walk them right through into your website and literally walk them step by step and show them the gallery, show them the different type of flake floors or, or whatever type of coatings that you apply and uh, walk them through the scenarios. And then you can walk them through what they need to do in order to apply in working with you. Or you can grab the details right on the phone. So anyway, so that can be serving as a sales tool for you and it can be uh, online 24-7 as your best sales person. Now, number two, number two, you got your, your website. So what should you be doing or what should your marketing plan for the concrete coatings business should have in place? And that is you need to get found on the Google Maps, Google My Business. Google My Business is a gold mine, is actually untapped, and it's, it's actually the Google My Business, Google Maps, is, is has, has been taken over by lead generation companies that are selling you the leads. So you might get a lot of phone calls from these fly-by-night lead generators, and what they do is they get a fake listing to show up on the maps, and they sell you the leads. Well, what if instead of doing that, what if you actually put the effort to invest into either optimizing the Google My Business or even if you want to do it yourself, optimizing it so that it ranks and it shows up for all the relevant search terms, with which it leads me into the actual research that happens there. So having a Google My Business that is optimized and, and, and has uh, the ability to show up for all the different search terms that are related to your business, that in itself will start getting you phone calls. That will start generating leads for you. And uh, there is a right way of doing it, and there is a wrong way of doing this. And what do I mean by that? Well, you don't, if you do concrete coatings and that's all you do, that's all you specialize, you don't want to get the leads that are for concrete replacement, right? You don't want to get the patio leads that are for tear and replace. You don't want to get the leads for a driveway or a sidewalk that is going to be a tear, uh, tear and replace type of jobs. So if that if you specialize in coatings and or decorative concrete applications like stamp concrete staining etc you want to make sure that you are showing up only for the keywords that matter for you and your business and your website also has influence on the google my business so they go hand in hand all right um and next step next step of the of the concrete coatings marketing plan is having a complete search engine optimization uh, on your website so that you show up for all the services that you offer in all the different service areas. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you offer uh, uh, concrete coatings for different services, different industries, say for, for the medical industry, right? Um, what about the restaurant industry or the travel industry, re restaurants? Let's take restaurants. What if you offer that? Well, let's talk about your service area now. So you offer multiple services in specific niches in different service areas. What are you doing to show up for those key specific services in all those services, in that entire service area? Well, what you should be doing is optimizing all the specific service pages so that they can show up so that they can show up in all your service areas. And you've got to gather all the cities, the list of cities that you service, um, and then do some research and see where, where the search searches are coming from. There's a lot of cities that don't yield any searches, don't get any searches whatsoever, and you may be ranking, showing up, and not getting any leads for that specific reason. The SEO, SEO strategy, okay? Part of, of the SEO strategy, especially if you are in concrete coatings, I can tell you the following, okay? Concrete coatings in itself 
okay? Concrete coatings in itself, listen to me very carefully, by residential clients, okay? It's not as well known as epoxy. So a lot of times the way in, the way through the door is to target homeowners that are looking for epoxy services. So if what you're looking at right now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'm gonna just give you uh, some ideas right here. So total searches, if we take out uh, concrete coatings and different combinations here, you're gonna get to see that concrete coatings in the United States has an average in the entire United States, 4,400 searches, right? So if you're ranking on the maps, or you're ranking your website for for the, the concrete coatings terms and all that, uh, guess what? You're leaving on the table a lot of opportunity. I'm gonna show you really quick. So if I put uh, epoxy flooring right now and I do th that same search, and let's let's just go as, go ahead and see what comes back here as a total search volume. Now we've, we've I don't wanna say we've doubled, but significantly we've gone from 700,000 um, to over a million searches in search volume. And you can see that epoxy flooring now has 100, uh, 110,000, not 4,400, 110,000 searches per month. Okay, that is a significant difference. So if you are targeting concrete coatings and your website is ranking very high for those terms, I'm telling you this, like I said before, I've been doing SEO for quite a while and uh, one of the biggest pitfalls is keyword research when it comes to the concrete coatings company. So Concrete Marketing Crew, we specialize in marketing decorative concrete contractors and concrete coatings is one of our key specialties uh, in, in helping you maximize that specific presence. So SEO dominance is about not just showing up your website for the concrete coating terms, but looking at every possible way how your potential clients may be searching for your business online, all the services you offer, right? And again, epoxy might be a way in, even if, if what you offer is polyaspartic flooring or, or flake flooring of other type of applications. So uh, again, that's something that, that uh, if you're interested in having a conversation, just go to concretemarketingcrew.com and hit that book a free demo call and we'll show you some of these ideas more in depth. Now, number four of this entire plan is um, the concrete coatings leads on demand. There's a couple of ways that you can do it. This is pay per click. This is pay to play. You want to get leads in as little as 72 hours? Well, this is the way to do it. Uh, a couple of ways. Number one is Facebook advertising. Facebook advertising, if, especially if you're working with residential clients and that is who you target as your main bread and butter, uh, it's Facebook, uh, it's it's hot, it works, it simply works. You can target uh, homeowners that are interested in remodeling, homeowners that uh, follow certain brands. You can target uh, homeowners that uh, that have a specific income bracket by, by their likings, etc. So there are multiple combinations and what you wanna do is showcase your work, your best work, not just any work, your best work and showcase the before and after, showcase a video, showcase yourself. And uh, that being said is Facebook works very well there. Now, here's the difference between advertising on Facebook versus Google. On Facebook, you are simply putting yourself out there in front of everyone and saying, hey, this is what I've got to offer. Are you interested? Right? And then people raise their hand and, you know, sometimes if they're in the middle of the night, they don't even remember the next day they submitted their information. But the difference is that on Google, you have people that are in market that are actually hot. They're already pre-sold in the idea that they want to have something done in their garage floors, in their patios, in their in their uh, driveways, in their interior floors. They're already pre-sold. So that's why it's so, so much more expensive to get a lead from Google versus Facebook for the one reason that the Google leads are the same leads that that's, um, Home Advisor or Angie's List or any of these other guys actually coming uh, to you and sell you. It's, they come from, from Google uh, and uh, they're hot, they're predisposed and they tend to convert better. Now, if they're exclusive to you, those leads go right, right to the bank. Now, Facebook, uh, the conversion rate for those leads is much lower than the Google leads. We've done this test time and time and time again. So if you don't have a sales process and you're running Facebook ads, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get a ton of leads and not many leads are gonna convert out of those uh, specific leads that you book into appointments. So just uh, be aware of that. Uh, the quality of the leads on Facebook, I'm not saying that it is just uh, not as good, but uh, you know you got you gotta you gotta play the numbers game with Facebook leads. Now uh, Pinterest ads and YouTube ads 
another two vehicles that are part of the social media advertising wheel in there and that is something you should look into i'm not going to talk about that in depth there are other videos that we've shared in podcast in the concrete marketing crew channel on youtube you can check those out there uh, but uh, pinterest and youtube advertising very hot for decorative concrete uh, and moving into the next thing is building your reputation now growing your reputation should be something that you should start your business right out of the gate with but it doesn't tend to be a priority for most concrete coating business owners, I've noticed. And one of the reasons why is because, you know, you're busy, you're running a business and you kind of forget. And before you know it, a week passes by, two weeks passes by and you forget to ask for a review from your paying clients. So what you want to do is have a process in the system that you're gathering reviews right as soon as you're delivering the work and someone told you that they love it. When someone tells you they love the, the, the actual project or the work, that is the moment. That is the moment where you've actually got to have this dialed in. And uh, what we do is we, we actually help concrete contractors with an automatic, automated way where all they do is enter someone's email or phone number and they automatically get a text message or an email requesting for that information right on the spot and uh, we train them on what to say how to say it and all that but if you don't have anything to say all you can say is hey hey you know uh, if, if 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 you actually like this project uh, that much what I love to do is is get your feedback online and it would help me grow my business it will help uh, other homeowners know how we did so uh, it would mean the world if you could actually take one minute right now uh, and just go to my Google my business or go to my Facebook Facebook page and just leave us a review, right? So you can ask people to do that right on the spot, right as soon as they've actually delivered, you've actually delivered the work and you're going to see that you're going to start getting more reviews. But if you have an automated way that does the follow up for you and does all the reminding and all the, all the, all the good stuff to get more five star reviews, that is the ideal situation, right? So now you've gotten leads. Now you're growing your reputation. What is next? Well, you got to stay on top of the social media game of your work that is a long 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 play right there social media is not an overnight type of deal that is you building your presence online because when someone finds you on google guess what they're gonna go and check you out on social media when someone sees your ad on facebook they're gonna go and check out your social media when someone uh, he, uh, sees your trucks when someone sees you online they're gonna go and check you out on social media so you've got to have a marketing plan on social media that's meaningful that is staying top of mind and that is staying in front of your 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 client your prospective clients online and if you don't have that planned out well guess what you can download here our free internet marketing checklist uh, for decorative concrete contractors and all you have to do is go to concretemarketingcrew.com to get that checklist Okay, that being said, next step uh, out of the marketing plan is having the actual conversions. And what I, what I like to use this as or say this is actually having the right conversations with your prospective clients. That's actually part of your marketing. What conversations are you having with your marketplace? So how do you, how do you manage the conversation in the first place? Are you doing those from your cell phone? Are you doing this from, from a CRM? Are you actually following up with, with a professional email? Well, what we do recommend is having a professional CRM that keeps conversations centralized and documented so that you don't ever drop the ball with the leads. You know how it is, how it is very easy to lose track of, of the text messages and the emails that you've sent out and you get them confused. Well, you don't have to worry about that if you have a CRM that, that's dedicated to you and your concrete business, concrete coatings business. So uh, that leaves me with the last step is managing the results and improving the results for your business. And that is what a complete concrete coatings marketing plan should have in place if you want to win online in 2021 and beyond and my friend it's it's been a pleasure here sharing this concrete coatings marketing plan with you online this is a, a short summary of our webinar presentation the internet marketing plan for uh, decorative concrete contractors which we've released earlier on this year and uh, anyways you can go ahead and check out concretemarketingcrew.com for more information and again if you like this information give us a thumbs up share this online on social media and let your friends know that you've listened to your concrete success podcast i'll talk to you guys on the next one Hey there, Concrete Contractor. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us your feedback. Let us know how we did. And also, if you're interested in taking your flat work and decorative concrete business to the next level online, 
Make sure that you visit ConcreteMarketingCrew.com today and learn more about our services. And go ahead and download our free internet marketing checklist for decorative concrete contractors. You'll learn a thing or two about what you can improve for your business online.